Hey guys, it's Robert with RV Weekends and I'm heading to Destin, Florida. Let's do it. Heading to Destin, Florida, we're gonna camp at Fred Gannon Bayou State Park, which is in Destin. And I'm not doing it in one straight shot. I'm gonna stop at two other locations. First stop is Itchituckney Springs Campground. I'm gonna stay there one night and then head over to Suwannee River State Park for one night and then take I-10 all the way past Tallahassee to Fred Gannon Bayou State Park. We originally had, I originally had reservations at the Florida Cavern State Park, but due to the hurricane last season, this past season, it was damaged. The campsites were damaged and they canceled our reservation a month before we were due to arrive. So the last leg of the trip has been canceled. So we'll be going straight home and making one stop at Itchituckney on the way back to break the trip up so it won't be so long. So, it's beautiful out today. It's cold. Um, it was in the 40s this morning when I left. And I'm on I-95 North. I'm gonna cross through the Ocala National Forest to get to I-75 to head up to Itchituckney Springs Campground. Just beautiful weather. Look at the sky, just blue as all. Blue as it can be. A cold front came through last night and brought rain. Everything's clean and fresh and crisp and cold. So in Itchituckney, they're expecting temperatures in the 20s. So this is gonna be a first for the Grand Design Transcend Explore RV travel trailer. Never had any sub-freezing temperatures before, so it's gonna be a new experience for me. I've never camped in sub-freezing temperatures, and the RV has never experienced it. So I don't know the best thing to do. I would assume to put water in my fresh water tank, not to rely on the garden hose from the spigot, because it could freeze and run my furnace that runs heat, heated air under the floor to keep the freshwater tank and the septic tank, black water tanks, and gray water tanks from freezing. So the good thing is it's gonna warm up the next day and we'll have to worry about freezing temperatures for that long. It'll get warmer the rest of the weekend because today is Friday, it's actually Christmas. Merry Christmas. 2020 on the road on Christmas Day. That's a first, never done that either as far as going on a trip. I've traveled to family, you know, never on a, a trip like this. So, and again, the temperatures are gonna get gradually warmer and they actually were warmer in the Panhandle is where we're heading to Destin. It's gonna be warmer there. Uh, the cold front will fade a little, won't be so strong. So. It's been a great trip so far, except one of my uh, tire pressure monitor sending units has not been sending info to the reception, to the receiver. So I have one sending unit not working, but all the rest are working fine. It's showing temp temperature of the tire is at 48 degrees. So it's been at 48 degrees since we started, so I don't know how accurate that is. But one of them says 50. So it's pretty chilly here in Central Florida, heading up to Northern Florida. Right here in Daytona Beach, soon we'll be getting off the highway in Ormond Beach, heading west to Ocala. You 
beautiful this is. We're getting close to the Ocala National Forest and it's just always wonderful coming down Highway 40. Beautiful drive, just peace and quiet, calm, just relaxing to enjoy this drive. No heavy pressure of traffic, tractor trailers going by fast, just wonderful. Coming up on I-75 North, we're in Ocala. All right, we're having a great trip. The sky is beautifully blue. No problems with the vehicle or the trailer. Nothing's blown out of the back of the truck. We're on I-75, we're in the last third of our trip to Itchituckney Springs Campground. So we got about an hour left. I've been on the road a couple hours and we'll be there in an hour. So it's been great. day two at Itchituckney Springs campground and we're gonna head out to the Swanee River State Park campground it's coming up next but check out this beautiful campground look at all the trees it's just amazing how wonderful it is here so we're gonna head on down the road to Swanee River State Park. It's gonna be less than an hour to get there. Well, probably an hour for me driving slower. So hope you enjoy the journey. See you then. All right, we're about 35 minutes away, but need to take potty break. Not a very big uh, rest area. <laughs> wow. I guess here's where I'm parking. All right, here at the rest area, it's totally full. Nowhere to park. Amazing how full it is. Nowhere to park for the RV, so I'm literally parked on the entrance ramp to get back on the road. Not the best place to park, but gotta take a potty break. Won't be long. Gotta check the tires. Tires look good. All right, ready to get back on the road.
River State Park. Alright, that's Funny River State Park. Oh, Alright. Arrived. Thank you. Well, the video's starting to get long, so let's cut it off. And I'll make a part two of my trip up into the Panhandle of Florida. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more content like this about my trips around the state of Florida, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get a notification when I upload my newest video, hit that notification bell and select all so you'll get an email notification when I upload my newest video. Thank you for watching RV Weekends and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.